Uh, good to be here. Uh, we were over in Mildura at the end of last week uh, doing similarly uh, through th that district. Um, AgTech's obviously the flavour of the month very much across much of Australia. Uh, lots to think about in terms of how we translate information into value, essentially, uh, at the end of the day for uh, most ag industries. Um, pertinent to the region here, uh, we've been running some mapping, accurate mapping, precision mapping, that's what we do with drones in particular, uh, but also take our equipment over onto aircraft and helicopters as well. Uh, and the whole emphasis around that is that the journey for us really starts with accuracy and precision. So we're using RTK type equipment down to two centimetres accuracy. And with that mapping platform, we're able to really precisely see what is happening from everything from canopy growth or can canopy reduction, bare wire analysis, uh, how much is that increasing or de decreasing across the vineyard, nutrition variation, um, we've got some very clear indices now around uh, nutrition and that variability across the vineyard and all that starts from the per vine level. So we're essentially able to take that intense data across every vine, across every block and get that out into some of the, uh, I guess, management maps similar to the NDVI uh, information that Nigel showed us this morning. Uh, and pull that back in to assist vignerons to make critical management decisions. So, yeah, the point being it starts with the accuracy. If you want to hop into the tent down there where we've got uh, the computer screen running uh, over the, the lunch break, uh, you'll see the mapping that we've done across the whole of the, uh, the, the Newry Research Centre here uh, and the specifics that we're getting down to in that statistical analysis. So we're seeing uh, the guys that we're working with use that to make critical decisions in the field understanding where to put their time and resources into the areas that matter. Um, so uh, again, a little like Nigel described this morning, where do we go and look? What's the insights that we can find uh, around information to be able to guide us in terms of making better decisions uh, at the vineyard level? So you see some of that uh, on screen back in the marquee. Um, and then essentially being able to draw that down out of a computer-based portal uh, and taking that out into the field onto mobile phones or tablets uh, for vineyard workers or managers to be able to drill in and see what they're seeing in the field and translate that back into the whole of the, the grower portal uh, to give that uh, information exchange of what's going on in the field, how do I get that back into uh, my overall understanding of what's going on. So. Um, we're not putting anything up on he here on screen because the best of it's sitting on that uh, computer screen back in, in the tent. Um, we've got four demo sites across the, Bar uh, across the Barossa Valley here uh, that have been uh, funded by Wine Australia. Uh, we're coming out of that first season now where we'll take that information back out into some case studies and start getting those published out. Uh, but again, the most important things that we've been working with those, uh, with those vineyards on is what does that look like in terms of the decisions and the actions that you're making in field uh, or back out in the vineyard that actually matter? How are you undertaking actions that change the way that you do something positively in the vineyard? Thank you. Any questions for Andy? We've got time for a few more. A few questions, if there are any. Otherwise, you can talk to Andy over the lunch break and after lunch. Can you hear me okay? Yep. yep. So, Andy, the accuracy two centimetres, that's in all directions. Is that correct? Two centimetres XY, which lat long. Yep. Five centimetres height. Okay. Yep. So, you know, maybe there's a, if you flew a vineyard and got that accurate data, Perhaps you could use that for like robotics in the future? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, some of the work we've been doing has been about identifying the precision location of end posts. Um, automated autonomous tractors need to know where not to crash into things. So there's a really important function around this of having all of your hard assets accurately mapped before you start putting autonomous tractors out into the field. Um, so we're finding that there's a strong demand for that level of accuracy in base mapping. Um, I think just on that connectivity issue as well, it's probably throwing a question at notice out to everyone that spoke this morning. We didn't really talk much about connectivity, uh, but that's a huge issue around um, what do people need around 5G, 4G, LoRaWAN, micro radio networks, all, all of those sorts of things um, in the knowledge 
that much of Australia is in an area where there is no connectivity, um, agriculture in particular. So I'm, I'm just throwing that question out at notice as well.